So hello, hello everyone. Welcome if you've never been here to my small YouTube podcast. Welcome back if you've already been watching and listening to me. My name is Isabel. I live in France. I have three sons. I have three cats. Some say it's related. And if I'm bringing you this podcast in English, it's uh, because I used to live in the United States, but that was 30 years ago and my talk in English is gone. When I edit my videos, I'm, oh my God, how can they listen to that? Anyway, I see this podcast as an, an opportunity to practice my English, at, talk in English at least once a week. Um, I usually have two series uh, on my channel. One is for my knitting adventures, a regular format, as you can find everywhere else, what I'm working on, what I have finished, my projects and everything, what I buy. And another series that I've called Woolly News, it's, uh, uh, so I post every other week. So twice a month, I try to collect everything that I've seen in the fiber and knitting and uh, wool community that I think is in, has been of interest to me and uh, that may be of some interest to you. Um, today, it's going to be a different kind of video. It's, uh, uh, I've already, so uh, I'm not sure whenever I'm going to post that. We are on December 20th. I've already filmed the first installment, um, the first video um, a week ago. I haven't finished editing it because I have been at work and I edited my last video and posted it on Friday. This is whenever I usually post. Um, so uh, I'm not sure, what, at least you're going to see that after the first one. Um, where I'm going to be talking about uh, my mobile year for yarn and all the kind of guidelines I've set up for myself so that at least I think I can do it through the next year or maybe more than the next year. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe so that you get notified whenever I upload a video and uh, uh, stay tuned for uh, this kind of special and uh, maybe a bonus video that I will post at some point, maybe at the end of this year or maybe during the first year of Jan next January. So uh, this is the second uh, second video. Uh, you may have already watched um, the first video where I explained why I was going to go um, or to undergo a no buy year for yarn uh, in 2022. Um, as a short, uh, uh, as a short summary, I, I since I started this YouTube channel last summer, and you know I've started also the Woolly News series because I was. Uh, looking for something like that and I could not find it so I made it I started it but uh, if I, I decided I was going to go on to a no buy year for yarn it's uh, because I've been buying yarn more at a rhythm uh, a higher rhythm than than what I can knit and uh, I probably have enough for the whole next year in my stash, maybe more. We'll see how it goes. And it's starting to be overwhelming. And my recent buys were completely different from the one I usually do. I usually buy yarn with an intention or pattern in mind, even if I sometimes do not end up knitting that. But I always have an intention. And my last few buys were without any intention just to have the yarn in my home and it's not good for me. Um, I have a tendency to accumulate. Um, I've worked on that. Uh, I have the tendency to accumulate food that go bad. I 
I am better. I'm doing much better. Uh, makeup that go bad too. I love makeup, and uh, um, so I've given a lot of my makeup last year because I have I had more than uh, what I could use. So I I gave it up to. Um, daughter's uh, friends, daughters, or uh, my son's friends, um, so um, they can use it, and I wasn't going to use it. Um, I also accumulate other things that do not bother me. Um, this is my baby cat. If, if I open to him, he's, gonna, he's not going out, he, he doesn't like to go out and uh, uh, so he will be going in and out for at least half hour and every few minutes I will have to open to him so I'm just hoping he will stop scratching the window. So I accumulate other things that bother me less. Um, I tend to accumulate clothes but I end up always wearing everything I have. I accumulate books and CDs, but that do not bother me. Mostly because I cycle through all my books and my music on a daily basis. And nothing remains unused. And this is what bothers me for food, makeup, yarn. If I have more than I can use and some go bad when on the lifespan they have. Of course, yarn is not going to go bad, but um, only only sweaters uh, shrink in a cupboard. Um, it makes me feel uncomfortable. And I currently have more yarn than what I can use in a year. So uh, even you know, if I have many, many books and many, many CDs, I still buy CDs. I cycle and I listen to my music and I I have an online subscription, but I listen to my CDs, I read my books. I have bought a lot of yarn books. Um, I, I read them and they are not unused. They are not left aside and forgotten. And this is what is bothering me. So I made a first video to have an overview of all the yarn I have and all the projects I have with that yarn. And um, I made this inventory as a starting point for my uh, yarn no by year. And uh, um, I'm sorry, I forgot to uh, set the quiet mode, which I'm going to do right now. So um, I, I, um, I'm forgotten where I was. Anyway, I need to make some kind of guidelines. I'm not quite sure there are going to be rules because um, I, I don't think I need rules, but maybe I need guidelines, you know, lines that are going to guide me through the next year. And also lines within these lines I need to feel comfortable and I need to feel happy because if I don't I will never ever finish that project because it's another it's a project like such as any other one so um my I'm gonna be um right now um in this video talking about my own rules kind of rules or guidelines. So first, I'm going to set up rules or guidelines for yarn. So I don't want to buy any yarn, at least the way I have been, I think it's that way for the past two years, um, at least the way I have been doing in the last few months. Um, I may allow myself to buy yarn in certain conditions and these conditions are, there are two main type of conditions where I will allow myself to buy yarn. 
One condition is if this is a limited edition yarn that I will regret if I don't buy it and it goes away and I won't be able to buy it after that. Okay, so that my cats are all over the place. I'm going to stop now, open to my second older cat and uh, um, I will be right back. So, okay, he's in. Um, I hope they won't be too, playing too hard or too loudly because the, my two youngest cats play a lot and sometimes they play quite hard and, you know, between a heavy play and a light fight, it's sometimes difficult to uh, distinguish where they are. Anyway, um, so um, I was saying that I was going to allow myself to buy uh, limited edition yarns. I have two examples in mind, but that may be other examples, or maybe three even examples. Um, one is um, the if trellis from trellis color is power, is power um, sets up another mystery box, and I like the mood board that she posts beforehand. Um, I will get it. I got her two first mystery box, one for her birthday this summer, another one for Christmas. And the pattern will be released on Christmas Eve. I have the yarn and I'm very happy. So um, I may I may do that. Another example is what uh, La Bien-Aimée is doing with the Cori Confetti series. Uh, I'm still missing the yellow uh, ochre series from last year. I'm still missing and I'm missing the gray one that is currently uh, up and I won't buy it. Um, another example was uh, when Len Paysan had a collaboration with the concept store Hall, which is in Paris, and they dyed for Len Paysan a series of, uh, of their yarn with natural dyes that, you know, really talked to me, so I got it. So if there is a special edition of a yarn that I won't be able to buy afterwards, after I've knitted all my stash, or after I've knitted most of my stash, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe 95% of my stash, um, I, will, I will get it. Because if, if I'm feeling too frustrated, I don't think it's gonna be sustainable, a sustainable decision in the, for the future. Another uh, exception or uh, guideline for yarn is if I want to knit something for someone as a present, I know one of my son has already um, a present in mind, maybe for his uh, birthday that is during the spring, um, and I don't have stashed yarn for that, or the stashed yarn I have projects for myself, uh, I will buy yarn for presents um, to knit for or others. I'm mostly a um, selfish knitter, um, but I, I need presents uh, and I enjoy that. So um, if, 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 if I need to buy yarn because I don't have it with me um, or I don't want to dedicate it to this project, I will buy it. Also, when I will go to the Pyrenees next summer, I hope I will go to the Pyrenees next summer, um, I may go to the uh, mohair farm where I go every year. And if I haven't knitted all my mohair, you've seen how much I have already, um, I won't buy any for myself. But I may buy um, some for presents because um, people like colors I do not, so um, I, I maybe I have I won't have you know enough for presents. So uh, okay, so that's one thing: presents uh, by Yang for uh, presents. Another uh, exception, you know, quote unquote exceptions, exception um, is if I want to knit a project with a stashed yarn but I need another yarn to knit with it. What I have in mind right now is 
uh, my sorrel sweater you've seen uh, you've seen in the other video uh, the yarn I have from La Bien Aimée. Uh, but I'm not quite sure and I haven't talked to them yet so w once I talk to them if it ends up I end up needing to buy a couple skins extra skins to go with the one I already have and to make the project perfect for me uh, I will so if I need to buy yarn for a project that I associate with a stashed yarn, I, I will do that because, or I will delay the pro this project to the end and see if I still want to do that. So um, I, um, I, I may do that or wait almost the end of this no buy uh, year for yarn is finished to see what is left and and if I need to get, you know, a couple more skins for uh, a specific project. One other um, exception, or I hope it's a, it's a happy one, it's uh, um, if I go um, in, in, a, in a real store, um, there are really none in my area. Um, there are only commercial stores with commercial yarn um, in my area, with famous brands you can find in France. Um, but if I go on vacation and go visit a mill or a producer or a farm, or if I go to visit, there are a couple uh, producers in Normandy that are, you know, uh, an hour or an hour and a half away from drive, I can do that in a day. Um, but I, you know, usually they are not open on Saturdays and I'm working the rest of the week. So uh, it would be during some of my vacation if they are open. If I go to a specific place for a specific reason or if I'm on vacation and I, and I see a beautiful shop or produ producer, I will, I will buy yarn, sort of... Um, you know, souvenir yarn or associating a yarn that I've chosen on on the spot in a in a place with with someone to a specific project I had in my mind or a specific pattern I have in my library and that clicks into my head and I say okay I want to do that with that specific yarn. Okay, so um, that's that's it for now. As far as I've been thinking and about about uh, these guidelines regarding um, yarn, I have all, all other guidelines because um, my knitting uh, expenses are not only related to yarn. Even though I said I've never been in a finan difficult financial situation. But I made choices and I made choices not to buy something so that I can buy yarn and it's not good. I think it's not good for myself. You do you, but it's not good for myself. Um, so I will allow to replace notions or needles or anything that will break along, along the line of the, along the course of this project. Of course, I have many i have all the things i i need for now but you know i'm i'm knitting a lot i i see some of my cables i have i higher higher sharp needles i see some of the cables are starting to wear out they may break so i may want to replace that or buy other needles i do not know but or other things if i need that but uh, only if something breaks down and I need to replace it. I will continue to buy patterns, um, patterns that I want to knit. Um, so I have been doing that. I have, I have yet to talk about the patterns I bought lately because I haven't in my last knitting adventures. So I, I'm going to probably do that in the next, the next one that I'm going to be filming this week. And that is going to be released on uh, December, this Friday. So it will be December 24th. Uh, so I will continue to buy patterns uh, that I want to knit. Uh, patterns to support people or projects or causes that I think are, are worth uh, supporting. And, you know, down, just down below, I have a link 
uh, to a Madeleine Tosh um, uh, booklet uh, that uh, you can buy internationally. You don't have to buy yarn and pay high taxes and shipping to get it. Uh, you can buy the booklet and it will contribute to her fund. Um, her fund is to give uh, scholarships uh, to people who can't, uh, or grants to people who can't buy yarn or, you know, some these kind of projects. And I, I like that. So um, you can do that and I will continue to do that if uh, uh, I see patterns that are, you know, fitting me and I want to buy either to knit or to support the creator or a special cause. Um, books, books, magazines, booklets. I will continue to buy books. I've been buying a lot of books, uh, not a lot of knitting books recently, and I almost bought only knitting books uh, in the last couple months. So I will continue to buy books. It's not overwhelming as is yet, but it's starting to be a bit. So I need to regulate myself. So I was thinking maybe buy one book per month for knitting. Um, you know, I have a Len Magazine subscription that is going to be finished uh, with the, I, I received the issue number 13. So I will have also the issue number 14. So I may want to buy um, the next subscription. So maybe it's going to be only one buy, uh, even though I will receive several uh, books or magazines. I don't know. I have not thought that through and I think I will see how it goes um, along the way. Um, but, you know, basically to me, there, having too much yarn is a big thing that makes me uncomfortable and feel cluttered and, you know, stresses me out. Having too much book doesn't stress me out. So, uh, or too much CDs. So go figure, but I think I need to limit uh, maybe once a month to buy a book because I have other books that are waiting, you know, that I can buy them. So, and some of them went out of stock and I was quite sad. So. Anyway, I, I may put some kind of regulation here, I'm not sure, but um, this is the idea uh, for now. And as much I am not into good resolutions for the next year, I've never ever been doing this, and uh, I hope it doesn't sound like one, but you know, it's the beginning of the year. Uh, when you see that, it's the end of the year when I'm filming that and I'm planning for the next year. So it's kind of a good resolution for the next year, even though I don't like that. Um, so as much as I don't like the good resolutions for years, I never did that. Uh, because I am not sure I can, you know, hold my uh, my word at, uh, at the beginning of the year and I will be very, very frustrated and unhappy at the end of the year if I uh, said I was going to do something that I didn't. But uh, um, in this case, this project, I have my the YouTube channel so that I can be accountable and I can report and I can talk to people about it and maybe you know, other people can um, have the same projects and we can go and support each other all the way uh, to the end of the year. Uh, so as much I'm not into at all good resolutions for a year, I'm not at all into reward, re rewarding myself uh, if I do something good. But once again, um, I have some kind of a goal. If I do not buy yarn and books and too, too much books and I do not buy too much yarn or not at all. Um, that's a project I have for a long time and I've never been able to do it because all the budget I could dedicate to yarn, I did through buying yarn and I could not buy a swift and a ball winder of uh, good quality ones. 
So um, if at the end of the year I have succeeded in my project, at least into my opinion, maybe I won't be able to knit all the yarn I have this year. Maybe I will need two years. But if I've knitted a lot and of what I have, and if I've reduced a lot, and I do not know what a lot is, because it's also depending on my own personal time and, uh, you know, uh, how much I can dedicate to knitting. But if I, if I think my project went well, uh, I will buy a good quality swift and ball winder. I do not really need one because, or one of each, because you see, I'm, you know, bowling. I, I watched a video on YouTube, on YouTube, I'm, I'm bowling yarn by hand. Uh, works pretty well, I think. Don't you think? But it would be just something that I will feel happy having around and uh, bowling and, you know, um, making uh, yarn cakes uh, with a nice wooden swift and a nice ball winder. So if, if I have cut down a lot of my clutter and if I feel comfortable with that project at the end of the year, I will do that and I will dedicate a chunk of my money to, uh, to buy a nice uh, swift and a nice um, Ball winder. Okay, so um, what do you think? Does it sound of some interest? Is it interesting to you? Are you with me on that one? Are you gonna undertake also such a project? Maybe not as strict, even though I have guidelines, but um, for yourself? Need some of your stash before you buy more yarn, for example. Um, anyway, tell me what you think down below. If we can, you know, go into this next adventure all together. Um, I will be reporting and posting about this project. Mostly, I think, on my uh, knitting adventure series. Um, so I will see you at that moment when I'm talking about how, you know, how I'm feeling and uh, what I've been doing and uh, uh, if I can, you know, continue this project, if I have to stop or, or, or the contrary, if I'm feeling so much lighter that I want to continue. Um, so um, I will see you around for... Um, uh, when I will be reporting, I will see you around when I will be reading your comments uh, down below. Uh, please stay tuned. Please subscribe if, uh, what my, if my projects are, you know, of some interest to you. And uh, please remember to actively place happiness in your life. Uh, because it's not going to come all by itself. And uh, we need to do that if, uh, because no one is going to do it for you. Um, please, it's going to be after the end of the year, but when I'm filming, it's during, you know, it's before Christmas. Uh, I hope everyone had a nice end of the year. Uh, maybe I will sound so silly when I will be posting that. Um, Maybe your celebrations, I hope your celebrations brought happiness to you. I hope you could see your family and your friends and the people you love. I know, I know some people can't um, go see their family who are living far away and uh, they can travel. So you are in my thoughts and um, I will... I will be thinking of you and sending good vibes. And in the meantime, please be happy with your knitting. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.